to share with you the newest iPhone. When Apple announced their iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, they got a lot of criticism and just pure hate for the design of the three iPhone cameras. But they didn't just add an extra camera for making it look like a fidget spinner. Today, I thought we would try out the iPhone 11 Pro Max camera to see what it can really do. On the 11 Pro and Pro Max, we have a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto camera. As before, you have the option to zoom in two times, and the maximum zoom is 10 times. And you can now also zoom out two times, which creates a cool effect and is great for shoots where you can move away from your object but you still want to get as much as possible in frame. And it's really great for group pictures when you want to get everyone in it without cutting someone off. When you're in selfie mode and rotate the phone to the side, it will automatically zoom out but you can press the two little arrows to zoom in again. So moving on to video mode, unfortunately you can't record on the selfie cam and zoom out, then you have to use the front cameras. And one thing I've noticed when using the zoom out in video mode is that it turns a little bit more grainy than if I would use the normal camera. If the lighting is good, it's not something you notice at all, but in low light conditions, it is definitely noticeable. And overall about the quality, stabilization and coloring of the video, Here's the clip I took in the car, so you can judge yourself if you like it or not. I will also have a full vlog shot on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so definitely come back for that video if you're interested to see what vlogging on the 11 Pro Max is like. I kind of like this. Like, yeah, so we're only allowed, allowed to wear our discovery case. Like, I'm not sure. Vlogging on this feels better. I'm like, filming with the camera. Did you do that? Oh my god, you're filming with the camera. The only thing I noticed though is like, you can zoom out to the wide angle when you're the call me out tiger call me out why don't you love lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in. I wanna fall deep within. But don't leave me hanging just cause I'm too proud. Whisper away my outdated doubt. Now you can also shoot in night mode, this is however only available on the front camera and it does make a difference but there is definitely room for improvement here regarding quality and night mode is also not available in portrait mode or video mode which kind of sucks because if you want to shoot a video at night you have to use the flash which will create that sharp look and just make your face look really bright while the background is totally dark and you can barely see anything. Talking about the slow-mo and time-lapse camera, they both have the zoom in and zoom out two times feature. However, on a slow-mo camera, you need to have good lighting conditions because the zoom out will make the shot a lot darker. Editing directly on the camera roll is now a lot easier. You can finally crop videos, put filter on videos, and adjust the exposure, contrast, and so on directly in the camera roll. I've actually been using this a lot and it really speeds up the process of editing videos. And one thing I love about the filters is that you can adjust how much of the filter you want to put on. So if you don't want the full effect of the filter, that's okay because you can choose exactly how much of the filter you want to put on the video or the picture. Okay, so I'm right now filming on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and honestly like I can't really decide if I like it or not 
My first impression was that it felt like an Android, which I've just always preferred the iPhone camera before the Android. So I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm sure if you've seen an Android versus iPhone, you can just like see the difference and I'm not talking about like quality stuff like that because I know a lot of Android phones are they actually have a better camera than the iPhones also I have no idea how the audio is um, you can hear it right now there's a lot of cars here so there's probably a lot of noise and I'm speaking kind of quiet because there's a lot of neighbors also around here and it's awkward <laughs> but I will definitely do a full iPhone vlog um, so you can see a little bit more about like what it would be like to vlog on this phone But I'm not disappointed at the camera I love the zoom out feature I just wish it had it on a selfie camera too Because right now when I'm filming Or in the video selfie camera Because right now when I'm filming I can't zoom out more than this Yeah, check out my Instagram for more pictures on this phone Because I've already taken a lot And I'm going to be posting them on Instagram Honestly, the differences from the Tennis Max isn't huge, but the editing features are huge just because I really missed having the crop feature and the filter feature directly in the camera roll because I could never edit videos and I had to like import them to a different app and then a lot of apps just ruined the quality of the video and it's just like a whole process so that is really great so you can now edit directly in the camera roll um, so i would say that's like my favorite thing about the new camera but definitely comment your opinions about the camera like from what you've seen in this video or if you've tried out any of the iphone 11 cameras yourself so i think that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching please subscribe so you don't miss my coming videos on the iphone 11 pro max and i'll see you in the next one bye that's very, very awkward. People just walk by. They're staring at me. And really just pretending to be on FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, let the real dog push you around. <laughs>